Welcome to the Student Assistance Program. I'm here with a real live student, and I'm Dr. Ann Clark, the CEO of ACI Specialty Benefits. Larissa is going to talk to us today about study tips and staying organized. So where do you go to school? What are you studying? Uh, I'm studying marriage and family therapy with an emphasis in counseling, and it's at San Diego State University. Ah, the party school. Let's face it, we all know that. So many distractions, and yet you seem to have done well in school and are doing well. So tell us, what do you think your secrets are? Mine, I hated to go to the library. I didn't want to do certain readings. I would procrastinate. How do you overcome some of those? Um, tell our uh, viewers how you overcome some of those problems. Okay, um, something I would do was I always use the calendar in my phone, um, put in all of my assignments, and organize that way. Um, I also organize my time. I would section off an hour to do homework or schoolwork, and then an hour to maybe have some fun, so I could allow myself to have fun and work hard. And I also exercised a lot, so that kind of kept me motivated and, and feeling like um, I wanted to be doing the schoolwork when I was doing it, rather than thinking, oh, I would rather be doing yoga or running, so. Now, students often say, I don't have time to exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one or the other. Do you see it that way? I don't. I incorporate all of it. Um, there are days I will make sacrifices where I would, you know, do the schoolwork. Um, and then there are other days where I just fit it all in and I say, I'm just going to go, go, go and get this done. And Larissa, you're single, you don't have kids, and so many of our students have other obligations like part-time jobs and uh, kids and, and a spouse. How do you integrate work life and school life? That's, that's a hard thing to balance when there's more than just you. What would you say to those people? I would say it's all about communication. Um, for me, with uh, my partner and my boyfriend, I communicate to him, you know, these are the times I need to study, and he respects that. Um, with children, I would say communicating with them, but also allowing time for childcare, um, utilizing the resources you have available to you is really important as well. Those sound like great tips, and for more of them, you can go to our website, and it's going to be scrolling at the bottom of the page for you to get all the information you need. And please follow us on Twitter. There are more tips there and a lot of fun. And also be sure and call the Student Assistance Line for any kind of assistance that you need. Thank you, Larissa. Thank you.